Hey everybody, we're here at City Auto in Murfreesboro with Lightning joining us. Thank you, by the way, appreciate it. And they are generous enough to let us come out here today and take a look. We got, they're doing a meet and greet with the new MTSU coach, Mr. De uh, Derek Mason, and Lightning, of course. Thank you, by the way. And so, I'm just gonna stop there. We're gonna go in and check this out. Thank you for coming out. Uh, we've got a lot of special thanks. Of course, thanks to Coach Mason for coming out. Uh, we got uh, the Blue Raider Association here, we've got Diane, uh, we've got VIP Magazine, we've got a lot of press here today. I'm going to thank the Chamber for helping to push this event, uh, Blue Raider Athletics. Chuck, good to see you buddy. Um, so I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. Um, and our owner, Managing Partner, Stan Norton, has a couple words. Thank you everyone for coming out. It's a, looks like we should have built a bigger show of course. <laughs> It's, it's a great day to be a Blue Raider, too. A lot of exciting things going on in college football right now. We lost a great football coach to retirement, but yet here we're in the great one right here in Middle right. Tennessee. Right. 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 So, this, this was about two years ago we moved into this building, uh, brand new to us. We added Mitsubishi a year ago, so we're excited. My hat's off to the staff here because it's just a building. It's a beautiful building, but what makes this building is the people inside it. All the employees, the commitment, they show up here every day with great attitude, they work hard. So I'm very proud of our staff and what they've accomplished to get us here today. And also in our community, we're just a community, a community full of people, the people that come together like this to support the community, to support the programs. And we're happy to be a part of the partnership with MTSU. We've been here since 2011. It's been a wonderful experience. They, they educate a lot of kids every year, put them out in our community. It's just a great town. We're, we're happy to be a part of it here at City Auto. And we're just happy you all came out today. So at this time, I'm going to pass it over to Chris Masuro to... Oh, was that Betty here? Okay, we're going to go back to Matt, but thanks, everyone. Appreciate it very much. So we're real quick, we're going to have a little bit of fun here. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun here. I will say, Coach, before I pull you up here, um, I did see one car pass in front of the building with UT tag. So we do have a spy Ooh. among us. <laughs> no secrets. Don't let any secrets out. I'm just saying. So 29 years coaching experience. Uh, first season, of course, here at MTSU, and I am proud, I will say, as a college football fan, uh, moved here in 2011, this is the first coaching change we've had. You know, we've had a, a long run, and I don't want to go through another. It ends up coaching. All right. So, uh, 2023, working as an analyst, seven years head coach prior to being with the Blue Raiders. Most recently coached 22, Oklahoma State defense coordinator, helped the Cowboys with a spot in the Guarantee Rate Bowl. As a player, Mason was a two-year starter and four-year winner at Northern Arizona. He earned a bachelor's degree in criminal justice from Northern Arizona in 1993. A native of Phoenix, wish we had their weather. Uh, and a standout football player. <laughs> we did get the last good day, so winter is upon us. So Derek and his wife, Leanne, have two daughters, Mackenzie and Sydney. Without further ado, Coach Mason. Blue Raider Nation, how you doing today? Good. 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 I tell you what, so excited um, for me just to see all this blue in this building today. Let me know and understand exactly what we're in for. Okay, this this, this crowd is spectacular, and we want to move this from uh, this spot over to the spot that I saw off of. Um, in Middle Tennessee that I just came from. I mean, we need that type of action. And what I can say about today, uh, besides the beautiful weather, uh, I took the great opportunity for, for, for my staff to come out, okay? Uh, some of these guys had to jump on planes, get back to their families real quick as we transition into school. But uh, and I, just wanna, I just wanna have uh, these guys come up and then I'll say a couple of words. Come on up, come on up, coach. Come on up, come on up, come on up. Come on up. I'll, I'll let them step up front and introduce themselves, but you know, I mean, really what I do want to tell you is that Bodie Reader, my offensive coordinator, uh, and Joe Gantz, uh, maybe who will be our tight ends coach, okay, they're, they're, they're off of getting ready, trying to beat the inclement weather that's supposed to come. And so I'll let um, and our coaches step to the podium and uh, actually introduce themselves. Here we go. Uh, Brian Stewart, assistant head coach, defensive coordinator. Yep. Uh, Calvin Lowry, Brian Dice. 
Kendall Simmons, offensive line. One more time, one more time. They couldn't hear you. Kendall Simmons, offensive line. There you go. Bryce Lewis, secondary. All right, all right. How y'all doing? Hey. Good. hey, Cornelius Williams, receiver coach. When we talk about uh, the opportunity, okay, to come to this place, this place, I've said it, it's got good bones. We understand exactly why we're here and what we're meant to do. Our job is to give a better product back to parents than the one they dropped off. We want to thank City Auto um, here today for allowing us to come in and just spend time with our base, okay? I'm blue collar, we're blue collar, and we all wearing blue. So, you know, the good thing about that is we all know how to work, okay? And we get to work pretty fast. This thing is coming fast. We know this much. We did lose a great coach, okay, and Coach Nick Saban. Sitting at those tables and paying attention to what he did during my tenure, okay, at Vanderbilt, I learned a lot. Okay, man, the idea was always to invest in young men. Be great. Challenge everything in front of you so that you have an opportunity to open doors for them that they can't open for themselves. So that's what we're about right now. Okay, man, we're getting ready to start this journey with you. Okay, man, we're going to serve you. We're going to serve this community. You're going to see us out. I guarantee you that. Okay, man, that's who we are. Okay, man, we're about the work that it takes to get from where we are to where we want to be. So I want to say thank you for coming out here today. I'm going to spend time with everybody here just saying hello. I see a Anupas in the house. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. <laughs> All right. And, 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 and really, as I look at this, this is just a great opportunity for us to get to know you. Okay, I mean... You, you are Middle Tennessee State University, okay? You are Big Blue, okay? And all we want to do is make sure that we're the gatekeepers, we're the caretakers. And so we're going to get this thing done, but we need you, okay? And we can't do it without you. So take care, and let's go. Let's have a good one. Let's go Blue. Woo! Coach has graciously agreed to take a couple of questions, so we'll keep it short. Two or three really hot button questions, Let's and he it. certainly can say no comment if that's the right answer. <laughs> okay. Anybody? Where's your, D -line, where's your D line coach? My D line coach is in transit right now. Okay, so when he should he should touch down this afternoon. All these guys, we just came off the convention, the coaching convention, and so these guys um, had a chance. I, I really took a lot of their time. I did. Um, and because we're onboarding 15 student athletes uh, on Tuesday. So for us, it's come fast and furious. Obviously, most know that we've signed 26 student athletes. Uh, 15 or 16 of those will be here on Tuesday. So there's a lot of work that's got to be done. We're still, we're still working, but everything's moving exactly the way we thought it would and could. So excited about that. How many more do you plan on bringing in and filling? Yes. 26. You know, it used to be a hard cap of 25, right? But with the transport portal and with the opportunity for student athletes, you know, to be able to figure out exactly where they want to go, we have five spots, okay, been available uh, in the month of February. So on that first um, in signing or second signing period, first Wednesday in February, we will actually look to sign five student athletes, okay, in this class. And and really, right now, the roster is probably sitting. It, they told me the day before I came over and sitting at 109. We haven't had 109, listen, it, since I've come back from the NFL and the places I've been, we've never had that many student athletes for spring practice. Okay, so I, I think where this program is going and like what we're doing, I think our student athletes are excited. Most of our players on roster are already back coming into coaches' offices wanting to talk. So we're, we, we feel good about where we're sitting who we signed, but there's still some athletes in the local area that we need to uh, try to try to bring home. So that's exactly what we're going to do over the next three weeks. One more question, anybody? Your last class of Vanderbilt is still there. Are you going after any of those players? <laughs> <laughs> Are you a reporter? Sorry. <laughs> it, it's a it's a good question. We we've had we've had a couple of a couple of student athletes that played there uh, have signed. Um, Amari Kelly, uh, and who's a receiver, uh, Gamarian Carter. Amari Kelly was at Auburn. Uh, Gamarian uh, Carter was at Vanderbilt. So 
guys that I know. There were more guys. I mean, Jay Harrison just signed with Notre Dame. He wanted to come, but we were already full of receivers. <coughs> so, like for us, as we start to look, there's plenty of student athletes that want to come. But right now, I want to be able to evaluate the guys in my program. That's right. I, I, I think you always start there, and then you look outwards. So, like for us, it's about the guys on our roster. We're gonna. Go, I mean, I mean, pour into these guys. We're going to develop these guys, and then we'll figure out after spring ball where it all sits and where we got to go. All right, here. This is Matt, the general manager of uh, City Auto. What's now is City Auto Mitsubishi. That's right. How's That's that right. work? Okay. Y'all yeah, brought yeah. in a new. Brought in a franchise. Awesome. For, after 38 years of yeah. selling used cars, we added a new car franchise. Super proud of it. They're kind of a down to earth. Blue collar, hardworking corporation, which fits us great. Yeah, that's awesome. I know. Just to clear that up for everybody out there, because the sign now you have the Mitsubishi sign yeah, up there. Yeah. So, so you are now additionally Mitsubishi. Right. right. Not we just sold two hundred and twenty cars last month. Oh my Twenty God. of them were Mitsubishi's. So we still sold two hundred. Two hundred and twenty cars. We sell more used cars than anything else for sure. God bless. That's a lot of cars. So if you need a car, come check them out. But uh, community so, treats us great. That's right. And, so also thank you for host, uh, having us here and hosting this for the new coach and everything. Yeah, so man, how, we're so how, proud. What do you yeah. think of the new coach? It's amazing. It's yes. the energy, the oh, yeah. buzz that he brings, the the immediate credibility that he brings. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I love the community. Uh, people just don't go to the games. Yeah. And, and I love Stocksville. But oh, yeah. he brings an energy. There are more people in this stadium and, and, and more excitement in this building today yeah. than I've seen in the stadium in a long time. Oh, yeah. Right when he walked in, you could just feel it oh, in the room. The it was really, is amazing. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, it awesome. Cool. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, thank you again. I just wanted to steal you for a quick second yeah. to talk yeah. about that because I know you're busy. you got lots of people here. So. But, uh, but yeah, turn out. Yeah, Gladys community is really getting behind this program. Oh, yeah. And also, if you need a car, you can check them out. Come check us out. All right, everybody. This is Chris Massaro. He's the athletic director from NTSU. So, what do you think of our new coach? Man, I'm so excited, and, and I think people now are seeing what we saw in the interview process, just the kind of energy that he brings, and, and this place was packed, and our fan base was excited to meet him and, and to be around him, so today was a great day. Yeah, this is actually my first time meeting him, and he is one really nice guy. He's a super guy, yeah. got tons of energy, mm -hmm. and he's a defensive guru, he's a, yeah. good head, he's a great head coach. So all those, all that package, and he cares about his players. Yeah, and, and that's really evident. So yeah. we're in for great things. Oh yeah, definitely. Obviously, he cares just from the, you know, limited interaction with him here. Yeah. He's such a nice guy. But so, what do you think our chances are this year? Or is it too early Man, to tell? let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, you know, right now we're trying to get through recruiting and yeah. see what our team looks like. But I'm excited about next year. We're going to have a great home schedule. Yeah. We've got Duke at home. We've got Tennessee Tech at home. Oh, so there's wait. some really fun games. Yeah. So, Come on out and watch us play. Buy those tickets now. That's right. Go buy the tickets now. Awesome. All right. We want to give a big thank you shout out to City Auto for letting us come out today and join them during this event, as well as MTSU. Thank you, guys. Go Big Blue. Big fans. MTSU alumni myself. But also a big thank you to new head coach Derek Mason for his time. And actually, he's a really nice guy when we got to meet him. Super, super nice guy. His energy is infectious. So we're looking forward to seeing him at the games. Uh, but uh, actually look forward to probably a future podcast with him because right as we were getting ready to talk to him on camera, he got pulled aside, said he had to go to a staff meeting. And so he, boom, it jetted out, and that was that. So anyways, again, thank you, City Auto, uh, MTSU, and Coach Mason. We appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.